Oh, yeah, got him. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, that's a giant. That's a giant. Today, I have all of these lures, and I'm going to be fishing with every single one. And whichever one catches the biggest fish will be crowned the champion. Let's see who catches the biggest one. So for all these baits, we have a swim bait, some Sankos, the jigs, the frog, and all of these chatterbaits. So right now, comment down below which lure you think will catch the biggest fish. The rules for this challenge are simple. Each lure can only catch one fish, and that fish will be weighed. And whoever catches the biggest fish, as far as weight, will be the champion. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Thank you. Well, everybody, look at that. First little fish on the day. Absolutely crushed that chatterbait. Kind of bleeding, but for this one, there is no point in getting the scale out because, you know, tiny little bass, so I'll put that at, I don't know, let's go four ounces maybe. But that is good because now we can move along in the challenge. Oh my God, that's a giant. That's a giant. That might be my new PB. Dude, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's my new PB. Oh my gosh. That's my new PB. On the chatter donk. Oh my gosh. Freaking donkey, dude. What are you using? Oh my gosh. Dude, why are you crossing me? Uh, three pounds, one ounces. What's your, what's your I just broke my PB. My other one was 214, so for like three ounces. Oh my gosh, dude. That is insane. It looks bigger than three pounds. I'm gonna be honest. That is a freaking haul. We are now on to the crappie and bluegill little imitation swim bait right here for you. Well, let's go ahead and get this one done. Um, we still got the jig and the Senko to go. So. Hopefully we can get the swim bait done with. There's one. Got him. Nice little guy. Look at that. Just crush that little swim bait. As you can see, small little guy. Maybe that'll put him in the third, but we will see. I think this is shorter than the other one. And this one will come in at 0.2 ounces. Very small fish. At this point, we got the chatterbait in first. And the white chatterbait in second and this one little swim bait in third right now before we get too far into the video please make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying we are close to 800 subscribers and i'd really appreciate it all right everybody well next lure is this blue and black jig looks absolutely amazing but i don't know if it'll beat that absolutely amazing performance by the other chatterbait the white chatterbait was kind of off to a bad start and then that bigger chatterbait that i threw 
just absolutely hammered 3.1 pound bass, which is the biggest one I've ever caught out of this pond, which is kind of insane. Absolutely amazing, and I'm so thankful to be able to catch that fish, but this jig looks really good, so hopefully the jig can produce. Got one, guys. There he is. Oh, wait, did I lose him? Oh, I missed him. Oh, yeah, got him. Got him. Yeah. There he is. Just pulled that guy right out of the corner. This actually isn't no bad fish, I'll be honest. Look at that. Boom, inhaled the entire jig. I was just flipping up on the ground over there in that little corner and he just absolutely hammered that. Well, not a bad little fish. Um, caught him on the black and blue jig. Uh, the only fish that I need left is the wacky rig, but there it is on the black and blue jig and I will get you a weight as soon as I can. Let's get a weight. 10 ounces right there. So, that will definitely beat the swim bait for sure. And then, as of right now, the wacky rig still isn't there, but not a, not a bad little fish on the jig right there. It is a 10 ounce bass, and that'll put him probably in third place and push down the swim bait to fourth. So there it is, and let's uh, go fishing on that wacky rig. All right, everyone. Well, last but not least is the wacky rig going on the old Senko setup. This is the last one they have to do. Got the little circle hook on there, weightless, going on the wacky rig. And I just feel like wacky rig is the bait you can literally go out any day and fish with and you will catch a fish. Oh my gosh, dude, he just took my worm. What the heck? He just completely took my worm. Got him. Ah, there he is. Look at that. Oh, final fish of the video. I absolutely hammered that Sanko. I did lose my Sanko in the process. So, let's go ahead and weigh him. And that one we're weighing at 13 ounces. So, final one on the video. Nice little chunky bass on the wacky rig setup on the Sanko. There it is. That'll do it for today's video and I will go ahead and show you guys the final rankings. However, I did forget to catch a fish on the frog, so later that night, I went fishing with it and eventually got blown up on and caught this bass. <laughs> I can't tell if he's humongous or if it's just because he's in weed. So it's not oh, a bad bass. Nice, dude. Oh my gosh, that's a long bass. Yeah, dude, he absolutely inhaled that. Look at that. Bye, bro. Freaking crush nice. that thing. Dude, that yeah, was insane. Yeah, smoked it. It's a big old probably. mouth. He'd be like a three if he was fat. Yeah, closer to probably two and then skinny. Dude, that's crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And now we got the final standings to see which lure won. In fifth place, he got the swim bait at four ounces. In fourth place, he got the jig at 10 ounces. In third place, he got the Senko at 13 ounces. In second, you have the topwater frog at two pounds. And the winner, in first place, the chatterbait at 3.1 pounds. That is going to be all for today's video, and I hope all of you enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like, and as always, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.